For you that are following along, you guys know that Russ is doing an LS swap in a square body at his shop. And I still have this 350 in here. I am waiting on parts. And to move forward with this, I think it's time to yank this thing out and maybe I'll grab one of these six liters and the old, or it's a spare turbo 400. I will bolt it together and we'll do some test fitting, see what the original cross members are like. I got some, got some swap brackets here. Kind of excited to try those out. So yeah, let's let's get busy and make the mess. Getting this thing out. So yeah, you can see this thing is nasty. She is gross. I should have cleaned it better. I guess I only got this angle when I cleaned it. But, oh well, yeah, look at the motor mount bolt. Just trying to dig it and find it. It is somewhere under there just about done under here then I can unhook that transmission and get these engine mounts unbolted so I got everything loosened off and ready to yank out I think we'll always find something we're hung up on but I believe I got it. Nice ram. Uh, I believe I got it all loosened off. Don't see anything else that's going to cause me an issue, but I've never pulled one out of these trucks before, so we'll see. I'm going to lower it down and get the, get the hoist over here. See here, I'm having a bit of a problem. I should have took the rad support out, but I wanted to do it in one shot. The lift actually is right there. So the control arms are sitting on there and I can't lower it down and get the suspension to squat right out and give me some more clearance there. So I'm gonna do some sketchy shit here and use this ratchet strap and just try to clear the support and get this thing up and out. I knew there'd be something, had to be something. I don't want to set it back down in there again, so try it this way and see how it makes out. We'll give her a go. So I'm going to separate the motor and transmission and just set it aside. Kind of running out of room here. And then I can try to bolt up one of the LS's and that turbo 400 but look at this boys oh yeah it's nice can't even find the find the bolts the bell housing bolts and then yeah I'm gonna pick away at this we'll come back to that so that's all separated and ready to go got the six liter here I am 
wanting to throw on my new flex plate just to verify that nothing's goofy about it and and then if it's good i'm going to use those measurements to order up my converter it's a performance world high performance sfi flex plate so i'm gonna bolt that on right now and then bolt up the the new swap brackets and i'm just gonna bolt up this old turbo 400 to it all and maybe we'll throw it in there so i got it bolted up to the spare turbo 400 i got it's kind of funny there's no nothing tapped into the block for this bolt and there's no ear for this one so i guess it's just how this one is i verified the flex plate that looks good a um, little bit of a different snout thing so i might have to get that to go into the converter so these are the swap brackets Passing the side. So bolt up That's the, that's the guy there. So yeah, I'm gonna bolt these on quickly and ship it in there. You're not making it easy on myself. I should have took the uh, front accessories off. at it you can see down in there is lined up pretty nicely I haven't threw the bolts in yet obviously but I took that coil off it was getting close and touching the booster there just the way that this chains all kinked up it wouldn't wouldn't cooperate with me but yeah Looks all right. And the transmission, this is placed for a turbo 350. So looks like I'm just gonna have to move the trans bracket. And funny enough, GM has holes already in the frame to do so. So I bet you I move it back one and it'll be good. I bet you it lines up or close to. Maybe I have to move it back more, I'm not too sure. But I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep that one. And with these, these brackets, the oil pan doesn't sit below the front cross member there. It's supposed to sit flush. So that is also nice. Don't have to worry about taking out your oil pan if you're being stupid. So yeah. I'm gonna set this down, get the bolts in it, and what? What are you doing under there, Nova? What? What's it look like under there? Yeah. Yeah. So I'll have to move that trans brace over. It looks like everything else is gonna work. Well, it's in there now. Um looking at a few things i wish the engine was sitting a little farther back actually there is miles of room back there it'd be easy to get at the bell housing bolts and stuff but i wish there was a bit more room for fans and rad and intercooler and intercooler piping in here but we'll cross that bridge when we get there maybe air to water intercooler if it's too tight i'm not sure but it lines up nice it's nice and straight. It looks like I'm going to have enough room to do a log if I go that route. I'm going to move that trans bracket back. Um, pull it out. Uh, probably get the frame cleaned up and everything too. I want to do some stuff on the firewall. Get rid of the shit I don't need. Clean it up. Uh, get a plate across there. Uh, maybe look into that greasy booster. I'm not too sure. The brakes felt okay in here, but I don't know. We'll see. But I gotta show you guys my my new build or my new purchase, I guess. Not a build. 
It is an 05 GMC. I got it for cheap off of a buddy of mine. Uh, he was a body guy, so it's kind of parted out in ways. There's no bumpers, handles missing. The, the interior is in the back, most of it. Not in the front though. Missing door panels. There was no seats in it, so I had to bring my 73 bench seat. Mounted that up, so that's what uh, that's what Nova and I are driving tonight. But that's it for tonight. Uh, you guys uh, follow along, and there's going to be a lot more going on with this build. Still waiting on 8.8 parts. I'm sick of saying that, but. I'm waiting on those axles and stuff so I can continue on with that. And yeah, stay tuned and we've got a lot more coming.